What is up, everybody? If you've been following along, you know what time it is. It's time for us to go into the Battle of Hefei as the Kingdom of Jin versus Cao Cao's Kingdom of Wei in part, I believe this is part six of our Dynasty Warriors Seven Empires playthrough. Excuse me while I step away from the microphone to edit the title of this video for a second. I, it still had part five on it. So, yeah, we're on part six of our Seven Empires playthrough. This is Lawrence, once again, coming at you with some more Dynasty Warriors Seven Empires uh, playing. Uh, our objective is to take Hefei, and sure enough, Sumayi decided to go ahead and go after Hefei. So, let's join this battle and have some fun with this. Um, I have the double Volge here, but let me switch to... Actually, I can't remember which one I like more. Hmm. I'll switch to this one. Why not? I'll switch to John Face. Check out my stuff. And... Confirm. Confirm. So now we're at the Battle of Hefei. I'll keep my stratagems as they are. I might just use Confiscate just to get it off my list. I don't like having Confiscate there. I really don't like Confiscate. Zhang Liao is the commander at Hefei. How fitting could you get it? Alright, let's be in the battle. And since this is Hefei, this needs appropriate Hefei music. So, if I can find appropriate Hefei music. Oh, oh they're right. I see Warriors 2 use the same one as 3. Yeah, surprise attack was the same one. Actually, you know what? Since this is Hefei, it's not exactly Hefei Castle, but. This is probably one of my favorite themes of any Dynasty Warriors game. So, let's use this one. So here we go. I'm going to taunt right off right off the gate. I'm going to taunt. Bring my horse. There we go. Now taunt's working. So now you, I think it was you, uh, Jin, yeah, is coming my way. Ow. Ow. Stop floating me. There we go. Oh, okay, I remember. Now, I remember this moveset a bit more. I remember liking both now. But this was just brutal. Yep, you agent. There he is. Even though you taunt them, they won't be stupid enough to kind of fall into, you know, a dark blue area. They're, they're not that stupid. So they won't do something like that. Yeah, he's still on me, so I gotta... Oh, what should I... Okay. Smack, smack, smack. Oh, I broke his guard with a punch. Oh, well, I need to hurry this guy up and save people. 
All right, I nailed him. Now I need to hurry up and get to Wang Yuanji and that other general who's struggling over there. And right when I say that, Wang Yuanji gets taken out. All right. Oh, Wang Wang Chang actually held his own against Wang Yi. That's impressive. Considering how scary Wang Yi is, that's pretty impressive. Actually. So, I'm gonna do my usual. I'm gonna take the outer areas first, and then I'll just cut through the middle. Like, let's see, um, Battlefield info. Dianwei is there. Wang Yi, Weijin. Okay, so Dianwei is down there, so what I'll probably have to do is take this base and then just head south and cut my losses a bit. Whoa! Oh, they have a ballista there. Oh, great. I hate the ballista. Yes, yes, you'll, I'll get there in due time, ballista. Done. Alright, now I can just ignore the ballista for now. Bingo! Ah, oh, Sumafu defeated Dion Wei right as I captured the base. Alright. That kinda sucks. There we go. I'll get these guys, though. Why does he have Shahobah's Siege Lance? I'm just gonna move so these guys. I'll let- I'm gonna let him run away so I can take these two. There we go. Now let me capture... I captured the Jianggan. Uh, let me capture this base and get this away from being a threat. Because this is going to get annoying. That's what I want. Unfortunately, this weapon doesn't really feel like it combos well into the um, the double Volge I'm using. Felt like it worked better with Wei Yan's, but I probably could be just using it wrong. Oh wait, I think I can still get this guy. What is he still doing here? No, stay! Can I get him? Wait. I think I can. Yes! That worked out perfectly. Could not have worked out better. So now, we're just gonna storm the main camp and take out the generals. Um, yeah, that's all that's left, just them. Oh wow, they have a bunch of reinforcements though. Well, that shouldn't be too much of a problem. Because... I got mine. Sweet. Okay, now I'll hop on immovable. Yeah, immovable. And over the menu, and now we're off to the races. Okay. And Zhang Liao, I forced to appear already. Sweet.
Oh, I forgot John Liao has his own cutscene. Okay, that was cool. I like that little touch they added. Reminds me of in the older Dynasty Warriors games, they had the introductions for all the generals. So when you encounter them, they did a little flourish and a stance, and they said one of their quotes. It reminds me of that, and I think only Zhang Liao, Guan Yu, Lu Bu, and I believe Meng Huo are the only ones who have that. It's a nice touch. I wish they did it more often with the other generals as well. And there goes Zhang Liao, so that city's ours. But yeah, just, there were some things that were in the older games that are missing in the current games that I wish were still there. Like, uh, I remember this being mentioned one time when I t wrote that retrospective. Someone mentioned the bodyguards, and the bodyguards were a very nice system. And I believe Dynasty Warriors 8 Extreme Legends has a system similar to the bodyguard system. I don't know exactly how it works, but I recall there being something about a bodyguard system in Dynasty Warriors 8 Extreme Legends. So, that's hopeful. And, yeah, just some minor touches here and there that the previous games had that the latter games didn't have. Banishing has been banished. Okay, so we all our captures got banished. And Hefei is now ours. month of September. Brave is not level 5, which means we get the ability Raid. Improved attack, defense, speed for 30 seconds. Even if defeated whilst isolated, you will be able to recover as long as you have troops remaining. Very nifty skill. Could save you in quite the... quite the harrowing situation. And now we're looking to eliminate Cao Cao entirely. So, that's a good plan from Sumayi. Oh yeah, might as well just take him out now. So... I think I could still join. I just need to switch my weaponry. Yeah, I, I can manage. I just need to switch weapons. Um... Hmm. Trying to find a uh, decent weapon. I mean, that worked well. That isn't bad. Could use the Tonfas a bit and see how that works. Right now, I'm just trying out different secondary weapons. So, I guess we're going to take care of uh, Cao Cao. The Battle of Xia Pi. Oh, that's interesting. I like, I like how this game, or at least this run-through, had a lot of allusions to the history and the uh, the canon of the novel. Hefei was defended by Zhang Liao in this run, and now Xia Pi is Cao Cao's final area, when historically that was where he defeated and eventually executed Lu Bu. I find that, I find that kind of funny, how this game, I, I, or this run-through, managed to link that together. I know it was completely coincidental too, but it's just neat that it did that. Uh, music wise, let's play... Mm. I don't know what to play here. Let's... Hmm. 
Let's do that one. It's fitting. Now let's taunt right out the gate once again. Get my horse. There goes Dian Wei. Gonna be pretty. Oh, there's the way already. Oh, I missed the grab. I was hoping I wouldn't. And now the way is juggling me. Oh. There we go. Now, I'm just going to take the base behind those generals up to the north. I'm going to take the base behind them, and hopefully that'll isolate them. That's what I'm hoping for. And if that isolates them, then that'll make them easy to capture. Oh, this is another pitfall. It's another pitfall. Yep. One B. Use the pitfall. I probably should use one Yi's theme. In due time. In due time. Kinda disappointed in myself that I didn't think of it sooner, but. Stay there, stay there, Wang Yi. I want to capture Wang Yi. If there's a character I want to specifically capture, it's Wang Yi. Come on. Okay, I think that did it. Yes, I captured Wang Yi. And now Gu Jia. I don't mind capturing Gu Jia. But I need to be careful because I'm near death, so... Let's take this a little bit more seriously. No, 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 stay there, stay there, stay there. Crap. And he set the whole base on fire. That is not good. Oh, at least he ran to where there's meat buns. Thank you. Mine. Wait, can I, can I capture him? Can I lure him over here? And hopefully... Yes? Yes? Yes! Okay. We'll, we'll work with that. We'll work with that. There, there you go. Wu Ji and Wang Yi, mine. Now, if Simi Yi does the right thing, and... Why did he use lock? Ugh, man. I hate when the ally AI does that. If Sumiyi does the right thing and recruits Wang Yi, then I will be happy. If Sumiyi also does the right thing and requ and recruits, excuse me, Gu Jia, I will be happier. If Sumiyi does the stupid thing and he can't hire both of them, then I will be a sad, sad individual. Okay, base is open. Let's pump out all the skills we got and just. Make a mad dash for the base. Let's do um, immovable. And now let's just run it. Maybe that's just a weapon switch. Oh, come on. Did I get locked up again? Ugh. 
Cao Cao's gonna lose, and I'm not gonna be able to see it at this rate. Open the gates. Open the gates. I'm just gonna go around in circles on red hair until the gates open. Oh, there's the gate. Okay, turn. Do one more circle. And then go straight through. Aha! I got in before you use lockup again. <laughs> You're not getting me three times with that. You will not get me three times with that. Come on. And boom, there we go. Oh, this space is ours. I don't even need to worry about Tata. -ta. Ooh, I didn't use the move so fast enough. Okay, resolute defense. Defense just in case. This is gonna get a little nasty. I'm glad I did that because the elite cavalry came. Oh boy. Nope, two Musos. Oh come on, one more hit. There we go. Whew! Salsa did not want to die. And I captured him. Sweet. We have captured Cao Cao and Wei is finished. I lost a ton more troops than I'm used to on that one though. That does suck. Wang Yi has been banished. Come on, Suma Yi. Guo Ji has been banished. Come on, Suma Yi. Yue Jin has been banished. Okay. Cao Cao has been banished, alright. Couldn't recruit Wang Yi. It's okay, I'll I'll do it myself. I'll do that myself. Next time I get an invite mission, I am going to hunt for Wang Yi. So in Okay, Zhao Yun is contributing to their happiness. So in September of 185, the Wei Kingdom has fallen to Jin. That's an interesting take on history there. So, with that done, I guess we can end it on that note. We're now nine cities in. We have nine cities. We've captured the north and part of the central plains. So now we need to make our spread. I guess, hmm, that's interesting. We can either go south against Shu and then maybe team up with Sun Jian if Sumi Yi gets that going. Or we can spread over and take over what was Wei. And that was the entire north. And then leave it be Liu Bei playing Liu Biao the Allied forces playing the role of Liu Bei and Sun Jian being Sun Quan. <laughs> but yeah, now we're in an interesting predicament because now we pretty much are in control and we've been riding the, this wave of momentum. But one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, the Allied forces have seven areas. Wu has five and Liu Bei has three. So Liu Bei is probably going to be the first to go, if I had to guess. Especially since Mong, uh, excuse me, the Allied forces pretty much took his entire place off of one encounter. So, yeah, with that we can end part 6 knowing that Cao Cao has fallen. And now plans are to be made for our next expansion, which ought to be interesting. So with that being said, this is Lawrence of the Gamers Crew wishing you all a good day and happy gaming.